Hi guys, today we're going to go over how to make a 3D model for a keychain in Tinkercad. So you'll start by logging in, signing up, and then clicking create new design. Wait for it to load, and then it'll pop up with this wonderful grid and lots of options on the right. So for right now, we're going ahead and select a box, and we're also going to go over and grab the ruler to the right. The ruler allows you to add accurate dimensions instead of just guessing with the way that it looks. We're going to go ahead and rotate the view a little bit to make sure we're altering the correct dimension. I'm going to make this a uh, thin keychain, so we're going to go down to 5 units, or in this case I believe it is in centimeters right now. Oh, no, millimeters, as you can see in the bottom right corner just before the blocks. And we're just going to change up the other dimensions of the shapes to make sure it, you know it's a pretty sizable keychain. Gonna go ahead and rotate the shape to make it more rectangular in my point of view. After rotating the shape you'll notice I'm rearranging the placement of it and that's because after I rotated it I didn't like where it was resting on the grid so I went ahead and realigned it with the origin. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab cylinders because we want to add round overs to our keychain so that we have plenty of room for a hole and the logo, or the word text in this case, for our club. You notice that I'm altering the dimensions of the cylinder to perfectly match in width and height, or rather the diameter of our rectangle so that way when we slide it on top like we're doing right now it all fits together wonderfully. In addition you'll notice that the ruler is still honed in on that zero zero where we initially placed it at the corner of our block so we needed to make sure our cylinder was moved half of the diameter over to make sure that it was centered on the y-axis. Lastly for the cylinder we need to change the height to match the height of our rectangle now that it looks all good, we double check it to get rid of the ruler, you know, make sure everything's meshing correctly. Then we go over to the group option, which you can see is in the top right corner before import or the shapes. And that'll solidify all of our current objects together. Now, what I just did was use a shortcut for their cylinder. And essentially, it's the same thing as this previous cylinder, except they give you a shortcut to make a hold cylinder, so that way you can make holes. The way that the hole will work is that when you group two items together, where one is solid and one is a hole, it'll subtract rather than add, like in the previous case. Right now, I'm just altering up the sizes and trying to get this new cylinder lined up perfectly with our previous cylinder, which is also in our case with the Y axis. Then I group it together as you can see, and it looks good. Do a little check. But I want, I realize that I want to add another round over to the other side. So I grab another solid cylinder and do the similar dimension editing as the first cylinder. And this time, instead of aligning it to the Y axis, I'm going to align it to the edge of our rectangle, which as you can see is 50s, which I then alter to be 40. And then I have to do some math to make sure I'm keeping the correct cylinder diameter. A lot of what Tinkercad is good for is visually modeling blocks and it's not normally good for these precise measurements but the ruler in this case is extremely helpful in making sure that you get your parts aligned properly as you can see i'm really using it it might take some initial more thinking as it's all based off of an axis system rather than uh, correlation or off of another current object the ruler is static wherever you placed it before Grouping all these objects now, we get our final keychain. It's looking good. Uh, I want to add our 3D Printing Club kind of mini logo, which is just a 3D PC. So I go over and I go up options and I go down to the text because obviously we want to add text. There'll be a little pop-up block which is where you will change what the text is actually saying. You can change a whole bunch of settings here and this is also useful if you want to change the objects like the block or the cylinders. You can also change those parameters inside of this box but I prefer to do it on the actual grid plane with the ruler. 
So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just adjusting it to try and fit on the keychain to where I think is a good fit, changing up the thickness and height and all that. Uh, one note is that I want to make sure that the logo protrudes into our current blank keychain and also out of our current blank keychain so that when it prints it'll have uh, a slight height or extrusion to it which is where you know you'll really get to see the letters pop. Finishing off with that now I have it how I liked it, so I went ahead and grouped it, gave it a couple twirls around, dismissed the ruler, and that's it. That is how I would make a keychain within Tinkercad. The next video will be about how to take this STL model and turn it into an actual 3D printed part. We're going to go over how to convert the model file from Tinkercad to an STL, how to convert the STL into G-code, and a simple demonstration of how to get that G-code to be printed out on a 3D printer. Thanks for watching this video. Feel free to like, subscribe, or comment down below.